I'm Justin Moan, and join me while we enjoy the outdoors. Remember to use code FISHMN off your first Lucky Tackle box. I've been kind of on the fence about the whole Walleye XL boxes and the Bass XL. I feel like since bass is kind of their breadwinner that you seem to get your money's worth more in the bot in the bass box than you do in the walleye box not to say that you don't get your money's worth but it just seems like there's some products in the walleye box that are just fillers where the bass box is like look at this tremendous items that we're throwing out there you know so I, we'll see I've been getting both boxes for some time, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Now they do have a multi-species box, I thought about getting that, you know, maybe I'll just, it's, as of right now, I'm leaning towards one or the other. And I do see that they have like a tournament box now for like $50, so... Maybe I'll try that, because that's what I'm paying right now for the, the walleye and the bass. But, um, I think that it's one or the other, and I'm not sure which one I'm leaning towards. But, as of right now, I'm kind of leaning towards bass, because, like I said, I just feel like, even though I don't do a lot of bass fishing, I feel like I get more for my money when I get the bass box where with the walleye box I get a lot of stuff that I'm just not going to use walleye fishing, if that makes sense. Like at least if it's like a bass, getting in a bass box, I feel like this is for bass fishing, so when I go bass fishing I have it. When I get it in a walleye box I feel like I've been kind of almost cheated, so we'll, we'll see what's, what's up. Um, I, and, and you know, you have to take into consideration that I've worked with Lucky Tackle Box over the years and kind of, you know, I've never been shy to not email them and tell them, like, you know, hey, what's up with the Senkos in the walleye box? I'm not going to use these Senkos. So we got a sticker, Bait Mate, Fish Attractant, kind of a cool sticker. Put it up here with the rest of my stickers. Uh, Bunch of stickers up there. Now, we have the Fish Hound Magazine. And, uh, has an Ask an Angler. Kind of not. Meet the team. Ten excuses to go fishing on Valentine's Day. So, but there's not a lot in here. There's not. They must have something different for the bass because normally they have like a section in here where they talk about like the exclusive lure or whatever it may be, you know. Then we got the card. So that's cool. Um, next, we are first on the docket. I see that. I have to get my stapler out. Now we all remember this one. It was called the Spy Bait. It was real popular. And it has the propeller here and the propeller there. I like this paint job. I like the size. I like, you know, it's got a little bit of rattle. $9.99. I'm actually okay with this one. You know? I I, I yeah, I'm I'm actually okay with this one. It's it's one of those that I wouldn't typically say that I would use. Um, I wouldn't typically say that I would use this one walleye fishing. Um, but I wouldn't say that I wouldn't either. If that makes sense to you. Like I, I actually right now. I kind of can't wait to get out and toss this. Um, this is a four inch sinking, the propellers on there, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm excited to use this. I actually really, really am. I can't wait. 
This is going to be fun. I, I like this one. $10. So that's $10. I like it. I like it a lot. Next we have Z-Man TRDs. Oh, and here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is a finesse um, TRD. And everybody knows Z-Man for their elasticity. Um, but these are for like like net rigging and stuff like that. They work great for that. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little secret with the Z-Man stuff. Do not leave this in the sun. Because with, with it being so stretchy like this, the sun just tears it up. And it will... It'll melt in a hurry, and, and then also do not uh, do not leave it like on a hook, and then put the hook in your tackle box because it will melt, and everything in your box will be just like sticky and gooey, and it'll eat paint off of hooks and everything. It's it's they're bad, <laughs> um, but they're good too. I mean they work, but you know so just watch out for the sun. We've gotten these in these box quite a bit. And this is kind of one of them things that I'm talking about where I just don't know. Like, this has never been the style of walleye fishing that I've ever done. Maybe on, like, big walleye fisheries. Black, Red Lake, um, Lake, Lake Erie, Superior. Stuff like that, where they're just in numbers and they're just feeding on everything and anything. But the lakes I typically fish are smaller. They're not in numbers. You have to really walleye fish. You can't just throw anything out there and catch them. So I don't know about this one, but I mean, I guess, I don't know. Three ninety nine dollars is kind of what I was talking about. I feel like this is, you know... Oh, and see now this is something that I don't like. Um, we've gotten these before. Um, this is real oil with applicator. And basically it's just some uh, real oil with a needle, built in needle. Four dollars is what they're listing this as. I feel like if you're gonna get this, uh, I know that we have gotten this one before, but I think we, I think I got it in a catfish box to be honest. Um, but I feel like if you're gonna get this, it should be like an extra or a sample. You shouldn't be charged for this. Four dollars is, I mean, I don't think I would pay four dollars for this, you know. So I'll put that up there. Uh, next we have the Ocho. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, now, the, everybody knows the Strike King Ocho's, there's no secret to them. Um, the, 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 the KBD Senko is what they are. And they're the coffee scented, which I just love the coffee scent of the Ocho's and, and the KBD series all together. A lot of times when I'm in store, I'll just open them, just smell them. But they have kind of a, um, weird shape like an octagon you can really see it when you twist it you can see the lines but um, these ones work really really good for wacky rigging because they just have that perfect cut and that like perfect bounce um, and they work good for like Texas rigging and stuff like that I use these a lot for bass fishing you know what I mean I just but I've never been a fake worm guy walleye fishing. If you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I just do not know about this one. I don't know. I I think that this next summer, I'm going to really put like this to a test and like this. And I hope that I eat crow on this, but. I know a lot of fishermen are probably on the same boat as me when they get to stuff like this and they're just kind of like, what's the deal, you know? <laughs> um, then we have uh, okay, it says wide gap bass hook, but these are really aren't 
Well, I'd get bass hooks. I was thinking like, like aught, you know, like three aught or something. These are actually good walleye hooks here. I like these. They're they're good size. They got a good curvature. You know, wide gap. They're size eight. Typically, walleye fishing, I really like a size two, but I, I'm not against these. I like them. Four ninety nine. You know. I, I like these. I'll use them. And then we're starting to get to the money ones. Now I don't know if this one was for the XL only or if this came in the regular box as well. But we have the live target and uh, man I really like this one. It's five to seven feet. Live target has such amazing rattle. And this one is the shad I believe it's called. Find a. Uh, doesn't really say. Oh yeah, it does. Silver black is all it says. But it's kind of a, a I guess, a cross between like a shiner and uh, and a shad. I really like this one. I mean, Live Target's one of them. Like I said, eleven ninety nine. I don't buy a lot of live targets, so getting them in these boxes is a huge bonus because it's really the only time I get to use them, you know. And some of them, like, I get them and I'm, like, scared to use them because I don't want to lose them. Especially when you can get, like, these here for three ninety nine, you know. Um, and this one is exactly three ninety nine, And this is a uh, vicious, this is a deep diving. It's, uh... 5 8 ounce, 15 to 18 feet, and uh, it's a green, like a perch, you know, like a perch, it's got the green and the gold. Um, <clears throat> now, when I say like 15 to 18 feet, you have to take into consideration how, how much line you have back there. Typically when they do the depths, they're thinking about 100 yards, um, or 100 feet, sorry, 100 yards would be kind of extreme. They're thinking about like a hundred feet. Um, they did some great tests with, uh, it, it's called, what is it called, Advanced Trolling, I think it's called. But it was a book many years ago and now you can get an app on your cell phone. And it, and it talks about all these different lures and like it would tell you like for this specific lure if you had 12 pound at 75 feet back it would tell you about which depth you had. Or if you had 6 pound line at so you know 125 feet back um it would tell you where depth you would be at so you know but typically when they do what's on here i think they they typically do like a 10 pound test and at 100 feet so just so that it's kind of a standard in the industry um and that is all and then we have flow progressive card and that's, I mean, that's it. 